guys in today's video um, we are going to be doing a house tour of my Bloxburg family home and this is the home where I resided but before I start this tour there's something that I really want to talk to you guys about and that's kind of been heavy on my heart um, I love playing with fans and subscribers I absolutely love just meeting you guys talking to you guys playing games with you guys I seriously love doing that and it makes me so happy to know that you guys you know you watch my videos and stuff like that that really makes me that literally just makes my day that you watch my videos and stuff but I have to talk about something and I'm sure that every other youtuber has experienced this as well and that is um, when when you play games with subscribers or fans and the one thing that I cannot stress enough is Please do not ask me to follow you or add you. I only add people that I know in real life or if I've been playing with um, somebody for like over a year or something or like known or role played with them before. Um, I try to keep my friends list as low as possible just because I prefer not having a lot of people join my games when I'm, you know, recording. Of course, I turn that setting off in like settings, the privacy settings. Like whenever I record, I set my settings to no one can join me. And there are times where like I do want to play with people and I do open that up to everybody or to, like just friends and stuff like that. Um, so if you are a fan and you happen to be in game with me, please do not ask me to add you. I will not do that. Please do not ask me to follow you. I will not do that either. Um, it gets to the point where that becomes really annoying and it's just, it. I just want to leave the game. Like I just... I can't I can't add everybody which is a problem if I could add everybody then definitely I would be friends with all of you guys but I can't Roblox has a 200 friend limit which you guys all know and I I just don't think that it's fair for me to add a subscriber and not add any other subscribers especially when I've been telling them like sorry I, I can't add everybody like I really wish I could but Roblox has a friend limit and it's it's just not fair for everybody so I will not be adding any fans but yeah that is just something that I really want to talk about and stress that I will not be adding people um of course if you are a youtuber and a creator and I've been subscribed to you and I watch your videos then of course I will add you um some of my friends are creators themselves and they completely understand like they don't just join my games you know like I I don't join their games either because I'm afraid that they're recording so I respect that about them and so yeah, that is just something that I really wanted to talk about before I do this house tour just because it needs to be talked about. But yeah, this is my house. This is my front lawn. As you can see, it is very nicely mowed. And this is kind of like another lawn area over here. I made this area a little too small, which I kind of wish I pushed the house back, but it's totally fine. It's not like I do anything right there anyways. But this is my garage and this is where I store my cars and stuff like that. Um, but we will tour this once later but I just want to show you guys like this porch area guys like so pretty oh my gosh so these flowers were all kinds of like different colors and stuff but I decided to make it match the house a little bit but this is kind of like my little aesthetic I guess you'd say it's like blush and like kind of pastel -y, like sky blue and stuff and I finally figured out how to make this porch so in my donut build I was trying to figure out how to do it and I didn't really know how um, but yeah, I made my little porch. We have a little step right here up here and we have a camera and some like floodlights or something. So this is the entryway to my foyer. My foyer is probably one of my favorite parts of the house just because I really wanted a foyer that wasn't just like one story. Like you can, I wanted it to go like super high to the ceiling like this where there's like super, like a lot of space and stuff. I really like my foyer and we have a little picture right here of Aria. Let me go in first person. So this is what my foyer looks like. Very beautiful and stuff. This right here is just like an extra room. Um, it's like a little standing area. I didn't really know what to do with like this extra space and stuff So I honestly could have made a bigger foyer, but I really wanted this space upstairs for like bedrooms and stuff So this is my kitchen and it kind of has like a white theme I forgot to change like these blue colors and stuff, but ignore that. So yeah, this is my kitchen right here super beautiful um, Bunch of cabinets cups and stuff like that kind of colorful very homey and traditional like which I wanted to keep to be traditional like rather than modern 
So if we go in this area over here, this is my office and this is where I work from home since with quarantine and stuff like that. This is kind of where I do most of my work in my home. So yeah, um, over here is where I keep all of my trophies and stuff like that. And I have a little fireplace in my office, which is really nice during the fall and the winter times because it keeps me warm when I am working. So yeah, that is my office. Um, if we go this way, this is kind of like a little hallway to the garage, nothing too special. Um, I barely walk through this anyways because whenever I get to my car, I just go through the front door. But yeah, this is my garage, this is my car and my motorcycle. And I, we just have a bunch of storage boxes, some paint, Aria's bike right there, and other decorations, a trash can, some wood for our fireplace. And this door right here leads to the backyard which has a wheelbarrow. Um, I'll show you guys this after. But this is kind of just like the side yard, I guess you would say. Um, I have a pink door, so it's pretty cute. So if we go all the way back here into this room, this is the dining room over here. Um, very pretty. I absolutely was obsessed when they came out with all this like kitchen stuff. I think it looks really nice and stuff like that. I still need to color like these plants to like a lighter green or something. But yeah, this is my dining room. We have a little fireplace over there. Okay, so moving on to this room right here. This actually used to be a guest bedroom, but I moved that upstairs because there is this other room in my house that was like a baby room or nursery, but I kind of found that room kind of not so useful just because Bloxburg doesn't really have like a baby setting or where like you can change into a baby. So I wanted to change that and plus I don't, it's just me and Aria and our little donut family right now, so I didn't need anything too, like, I didn't need too many rooms. Oh my gosh, I think I'm getting stinky. Yeah, I'm getting stinky. This is going to be a, another room, so now I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. I'm actually going to do a build on this room, or on what I'm going to be putting in this room, so there's that. So this is my living room right here. Um, it's pretty big. We just have this huge TV with a big sectional, like, couch, and so I kind of tried to do, like, the little hack right here with the blanket oh my gosh my stinkiness <laughs> i need a shower okay so well guys this is the downstairs bathroom as you can see yeah this is the downstairs bathroom um we have a little tub in here this i guess you could say this is like a full three full three bathroom house i guess you can say this is what well, looks like nothing too exciting okay so that's the bathroom um i wasn't finished showing you guys this room okay yeah this is my living room, very nice, very big. Uh, this is just an extra room, like a piano or music room. Um, this was kind of like that other room over there, but I don't want to make it just like two sitting rooms, so I ended up adding a piano in this room. I think it looks super nice and classy looking, so we have that. Okay, so if we go back to the foyer, this is what my stairs looks like all the way up to my second store in my house, very nice. Um, so when you walk up here, this is kind of just like a loft type of room where it, you can just watch TV, hang out, and stuff like that. Um, I didn't want too many rooms in this house just because I wanted to keep it simple, and plus I really like lofts in the house. I think it's super nice and stuff, so that is what we have right here, just like an, a little added addition. Okay, so next to that is my laundry room. Very simple. Um, I didn't really add too much detail in this room just because I hardly ever do laundry in Bloxburg. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, that is my laundry room. Um, I have pink, a pink washer and dryer. Super cute. So moving on to the uh, master bedroom. This is my bedroom. And recently, Bloxburg came out with their new update. So this is this whole wall is a decal, and I think it's super cute because I can add wallpapers in my house. So yeah, this is the little entryway to my bedroom. And if we go over here, this is what my bedroom looks like. I used to have like a separate closet area right here where I had like a wall and stuff like that, but I hardly walked in there and I really wanted this room to be a little bit bigger. So I just added the closet into the room like this. And I think it's super cute. I've never really seen a room like this in real life. Every room that I've ever had or looked at or walked into in like model homes or something they've always had their own separate closet but yeah this is my bedroom um sorry about my bed it's kind of messy this is where i do my makeup my little vanity and stuff here we have a little sitting area right here my dresser a little bookshelf and then my bed 
And this is one of the newer beds. I ended up adding pillars around it just to make it more classy looking. Um, I wasn't really sure what to do with my room, honestly, but I think it looks really pretty. And oh my gosh, I forgot to add some pictures over there. Ah, I've been waiting to make some family decals of like Aria and stuff like that. So that's why those are empty, but I don't know. I'll have to do that some other time. <laughs> okay, so this is the entryway to my bathroom. Since I have like a small little room like this for like the toilet area where you can just hide the toilet. That's what I wanted to do for this bathroom because I just didn't want it to be sitting out like that. And I just didn't want to throw everything in my bathroom hello awkwardly. So this is my sink and where I brush my teeth in the morning. We have a little shelf, a window, a table, and my bathtub. So I actually had a shower in here and I honestly just use my bathtub to like wash myself whenever I like role play and stuff. So I thought it was kind of pointless to have a shower in there. So yeah, I just have my bathtub and I'm completely fine with that. So yeah, that is my bathroom and the master bedroom. Okay, so moving on over here, we just have a little table area where I like to put photos and stuff like that. Um, every house has something like this, like a area filler or something. And then over here is the kids bathroom. And this is what the kids bathroom looks like. It's kind of colorful. Um, at first I made it kind of plain, but I just thought that I'd be kind of cute to make this like an actual kids bathroom. Um, I should probably put the trash can right here instead of right there because it's kind of crowded. But yeah, this is the kids bathroom. I tried to make like shower curtains as you can see. Um, I think it's really cute. Uh, we have a bathtub and a shower and yeah, that is the kids bathtub or bathroom and then if we go over here it's kind of dark so this first door right here is aria's room and this is just what her room looks like i'm not going to go too much in detail just because i did do like a speed build or like or model of her room which you guys can go check out i'll have it in the eye in the corner or on the screen um but yeah this is her bedroom she really wanted a donut bedroom which she loves so much um this is her closet right here so yeah that is aria's bedroom now moving on to the room that I said that was the nursery. So this used to be like a nursery room, but I thought it was kind of just, I don't know. Like I, I like the nursery room. It was super, it was like super cute. It was like aquarium or like sea themed. And I really wanted to do like a guest bedroom. Um, we had one downstairs, but it was kind of sad. Like I said, it was blue and gloomy, but this is what the guest bedroom looks like. I think it's super cute. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be like a guest bedroom either. If one day I end up adopting a teenage daughter, then this would probably be her room as well, but it's super cute very nice um i try to play around with color as you can see and whites and stuff like that so i really like this room it's really cute i still have to put something right there because it's kind of plain but yeah this is the guest bedroom positive vibes only yes positive vibes only on the channel so this is a little i like i said again like every house has something like this where they like frame a bunch of photos of like family and stuff this is just aria um so I used to role play with a friend before and that used to be like my teenage son so maybe we will adopt a teenage son later on. <laughs> um, this next room that I'm going to show you might give you some hints or something but this next room is a teenage boys room as you can see. So yeah we have just a bunch of like cute stuff in here. We have some cars up here. I really like that. It looks super cool and different colors. Fortnite! Woohoo! I still haven't downloaded Fortnite on my PC yet but I do want to try it. Um, if you have any Steam game um, suggestions, let me know down below. I just got a gaming PC, so I'm on Windows or like Windows 10 PC. Yeah, Windows 10 PC. And I'm just like looking for a bunch of different games. This is just the room right here. We have some drums and stuff like that. And then over here, this is the closet too. So it's kind of identical to Aria's room, but this room is a little bit bigger, I think. Yeah, I think it's a little bigger. I don't know. This is whoever's room that we plan on adopting later on in the future, which I definitely will um, do. Um, if you guys are wondering, like this is more family photos that I took. Um, the girl with the pink hair is actually Roxy. Um, she used to live with us for a while. So yeah, that is that. And if we go to the backyard, it's probably kind of a bad time to be showing you guys because it's raining outside. Oh my gosh, that I totally forgot. I totally forgot. So. We have umbrellas now. Oh my gosh, we have umbrellas! We have umbrellas in the game, in case if it rains like this. Okay, so we are covered then. This is the front porch. Oh my gosh, the rain looks kind of new or something. 
It looks more realistic. This is what the rain, well, not the rain, this is what my porch looks like outside. So right here we have a little sitting area and a fireplace. And then this right here is the table where people can have some barbecues and stuff like that. It used to be over there, but I kind of cleaned up this backyard after Arya's birthday party. Um, this is a little grill and kitchen area. And then if we go over here, this is where the pool is. Oh my gosh, the pool looks so realistic. Ah, I'm so happy with my my new graphics and stuff like that. Over here is a little tanning area. We have a hammock over here. We have a swing set. And then Aria's little jump house that I ended up changing to like this color, like pastel pinks and stuff like that. Um, I wanted to keep this. I used to have a trampoline in this area, but I thought this was more fun and cute. So I decided to just stick around with this. Um, there's nothing else in the corner over there. So pointless to show you guys that, but this is my backyard guys. It's definitely a backyard that I wish to have in the future with a pool and like a playground, a little grass area. Okay, so this is, I wanted originally to make this like a garden area, but I cannot keep up with like plants and gardening. Like literally like all my trees die and stuff like that. I don't know if this one has like, no, this one doesn't have any fruits on it, but I've had so many fruit trees back here that ended up dying and that was kind of just like a waste of money. So yeah. I don't have it anymore. Um, this is the little side yard area right here. Again, this is my backyard. But yeah, that is my house, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, I ended up making my roof like super thick too because I thought it was kind of cute. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my house tour video. Let me know down below in the comments what other type of videos you'd like to see. And also, thank you for understanding. Again, I, I cannot add everybody and I will not be adding fans or subscribers just because it's not fair to everybody. I tell this to every single person who asks that if I can add them. But yeah, I hope you guys understand that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Wait, where's the wave? Bye, guys.